everybody. Uh, this is episode two of Candid Conversations with City Block. And uh, we're really excited. We're actually taking a step from our Zooms today and interviewing our client, Alpha Brewing. We're at the brewery. And um, to be safe, we're all wearing our masks. Mine obviously keeps falling down. Um, we're gonna do our best to talk as loudly as possible. Um, so if you can't hear us at any point, um, comment and just kind of bear with us. Uh, but yeah, we're tuning in with Alpha Brewing. We're gonna listen to how they got started and just really kind of dig into the story behind Alpha Brewing. So follow me. Sure. Well, we started uh, downtown on Washington Avenue, um, right around 15th Street, right by the City Museum, uh, in April 2013. Um, we were in about 2,500 square feet down there with a small, small brewery, um, small tap room, small patio in the park, and no kitchen. And you know, immediately after we opened it, it was obvious we needed to grill somewhere. So the search began for a property. There's a lot of things on the wish list for a property for a brewery. Has Loading docks and parking, needs to be in a neighborhood, tall ceilings, big water, and lots of power, and all sorts of crazy things. So it took about four years to find mm -hmm. this place, and we bought it in March of 2017, and after a year of construction, we moved in here in March of 18. So now we're still here. There you go. Um, a lot of people don't realize that there's a lot of education needed kind of behind the scenes to Thank you. <laughs> so, can you tell us a little bit about your educational background and how that kind of ties into? Sure, yeah. sure. Um, well, brewing beer is a lot of science. Um, I think a lot of people think you just throw some stuff together and poop it comes out. It kind of doesn't work that way. You have to make the yeast happy. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I graduated in 2009 from Drake University with a degree in biochemistry, cell molecular biology. Um, I took a gap year in Korea and taught English to little kids and then uh, came back to the United States and enrolled in a master's program at Webster. I dropped out with two classes left to go because it was so boring. <laughs> I didn't know what I wanted to do. I thought maybe I could be like work at Monsanto and be project manager or something with the science degree and the master's degree or something. Uh, so I went back to science and got my master's in biology from UMSL and I got that in 2000. 13th, the same year the brewery opened. And uh, yeah, so, you know, biology degree really helps you out. I mean, especially keeping these happy. It's a living thing, so you have to really cater to what it does and like understand how it works. Was that just a hobby of yours? Just uh, as no. far as beer? How did you, how did <laughs> no, you transfer that into beer? Well, um, <laughs> when I was getting that master's in biology, I went, I needed a job. My wife was like, you have to get a job. So I. Darn it. Yeah, I know. I know right? <laughs> so. So I went down to square one thinking like I'll get a bartender server type job or something and then I'm getting the assistant brewer's job, which isn't all that great. It's mostly carrying heavy stuff up and down steps, cleaning kegs. But I learned a lot there from the brewmaster over there, which encouraged me to open my own place. Cool. So we did. That's great. It sounds like your experience and your creativity has brought a lot into what Alpha is. Um, is what makes you stand out more than other breweries in the area? Right. That's a great question. <laughs> Um, so, besides um, the pension for science, we focus on barrel aged and sour beers. Um, I really like fruit beers too. So, you know, we have our typical styles and IPAs and stuff like that. We also have a bunch of wine barrel aged beers, a bunch of sour things. A uh, new thing that just came on draft, a cranberry sour. Um, was supposed to age for like nine months or something. It's delicious and it's the correct thing too. <laughs> If you like eating cherries, you probably like sour beer. I've heard a bunch of people at the bar say things like, well, I don't like sour beer. Of course. Well, of course, you do hear that here, but I don't like sour beer. You know? <laughs> well, what sour beer did you have? And they're like, oh, uh, and you're like, all right, well, you try one. And then it immediately turns around like, oh. I mean, if you like Chardonnay or if you like Merlot, you're probably going to like a beer that's aged in those barrels. Mm. And I think it works out pretty well. Just um, the word sour, I guess. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I, <laughs> When you say sour, it's like, oh, wet sour. Like, no, no, we did this on purpose. Like, it wasn't an accident. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did, would you mind showing us around? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
It's two o'clock on Friday. We just opened, so the bar's empty. But this is our bar. Mm. Uh, seats about uh, forty people right now. These two current restrictions and whatnot. That's all right. We'll be filling five of those spots later. <laughs> or four. We'll help out. <laughs> uh, we have a kitchen. I don't know. We should go out in the patio. Yeah. That's more than that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. So we have a patio with a fire pit. We do live music four nights a week now, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Tonight is just piano. So that'll be Sign up for that. We got a piano from Jackson Pianos. Love that. Nice. Super nice. Yep, yep. How many uh, can you seat on your patio? Uh, about 120. We have 15 picnic tables, and you can tell they're all kind of far enough apart. Mm -hmm. So we're leaving the bar building. We're going to go into the brewery building. It's right next door. Beer. Yeah, yeah, so right now we're, we're canning up a uh, root beer that's named for our Greek man, Jazzy. Yep, but here's all the magic happens. So, this is our brew house. So, this is where we start the magic where you turn green into sugar water and then you feed the sugar water to the yeast and the yeast eats the sugar and makes alcohol and carbon dioxide as a byproduct, which is why beer is carbonated. <laughs> mm -hmm. Tazzy is famous. Tazzy is famous, that's right. <laughs> you can tell we do a whole bunch of stuff in barrels like I mentioned before. They actually sit in there. These little barrels in front are barrels we've been doing steak sauce, barbecue sauce, a hot sauce, some other fun stuff like that in. What is your favorite or like the coolest thing that you think that you brewed here? Ooh, we have a Russian Imperial Stout coming out next Friday. It's stellar. It's stellar. <laughs> <laughs> you also make seltzers here. Yeah, yeah. So that's a big one. two seltzers that we make. A mango flavored one and a black cherry lemonade, which are also delicious. They go down way too fast. Well, <laughs> 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 oh, they do. <laughs> um, so we stuff in here. So these two big oak tanks behind me are boaters. They're um, well, they're just big oak tanks that we age beer in. We pull beer from one or the other every year. So those beers are in there for a general two years. Uh, the neat thing about them is there's only one company in the country that makes them, and it's a company called Photo Crafters, and they're in O'Fallon, Missouri. So it's Missouri Oak and it's local. Supporting and they're cool. local. They're cool looking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you get some great flavors out of them too. Awesome. Yeah. So neat. Just watch the walk in, I guess, today. Yeah. Okay, so what are you canning right now? Uh, right now we're canning that root beer. So you're canning, uh, so you do sodas too, not just beer and seltzers. Uh-huh. Tell us about your sodas. Uh, so they're named after the cat. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> we have a cream soda and a root beer. And so our first one of both of them like the cream sodas to back for Cool. Lexi said the soda was nostalgic, so you'll smell the root beer and a uh, and soda, and it'll transcend you back to your childhood. So one thing that's really neat that we wanted to point out is uh, this walk-in cooler is about the size of their old location in downtown. So what's great about Alpha is they're reinvesting and continuing to give back and commit to St. Louis. So. How much beer do you think that you brew? <laughs> uh, I don't know. What can you say? Well, annually, annually, we keep growing, but last year we did about, well, this year we'll, we'll probably be about 600 barrels of beer a year. Our Bob Taylor Barrel of Beer this year. Last year we did about 525 or something like that. Um, a, a day? 
No, a barrel is 31 gallons. Um, so, I don't know, like two barrels a day. But we make them in 15 barrel batches, so we generally do them once or twice a week. Awesome. Yeah. How much beer can you get here? Right, right. Well, I know there's about 22,000 <laughs> gallons of beer in here right now. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> how much does the average person consume? Like, how, how many people does that take? Yeah. Um, <laughs> to drink this round. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> uh, we turn into this walk in like four or five times a year. Wow. So, uh, you know, yeah. Goes in and out. It's awesome. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, really hot. It's warmer than outside. It is. That's true. <laughs> Okay, Derek, tell us what's uh, exciting, what's cool, what's going on right now and new for Alpha. Well, like I mentioned, that Russian Imperial Stout that comes out next Friday. Really stoked about that. Um, we have some new salsa flavors that mm -hmm. are in queue to come out in January or mm -hmm. maybe February. And we're looking forward to getting back to hosting all those fun festivals that we used to do. Cool. And uh, you have a December food special too. Oh, right, that's right. Yes, yeah, the Shepherd's Pie. Um, Delicious cheddar mashed potatoes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and but what was that, Amanda? The cheddar mashed potatoes are amazing. <laughs> I am pregnant, but I'm still there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I, I actually tried it. It is delicious. Uh, Lamb beef and a bunch of big chopped vegetables, carrot peas, uh, cauliflower. I can't remember. I don't actually cook that part. Yeah, chef, that <laughs> you can't do it all. Yeah, it. you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, tell us a little bit more about Tazzy. So if anyone comes to the brewery, they can see her, can't they? Yeah, she's usually sitting on the patio unless it's too cold. And she lives here, right? She lives in the brewery, yep. Okay. Uh, she's a pretty good kid. She's so cute. <laughs> uh, anything else that our followers should know? We're open two to ten every day of the week. We got food online. Cool.